All right, I saved this one for last today because it's... Ugh. I'm just going to go ahead and give a trigger warning for people. Uh, this one's not... If you don't do well with hate crimes, uh, then this one's not going to be fun for you. So just, just letting you know, if you need to hop out, this is your time to... said let's uh tiny bit of sanity before we get into insanity fan art section this one is from cosmics this is my first fan art uh that's all i guess cosmics this looks absolutely goddamn beautiful i fucking love your art style it is very simple but very very extremely cute the next one we have here is from irane Final Fantasy XIV, Because of Because, of course. Why is the tail between the legs? Mikote Dick. <laughs> the last one we have here is also from Cosmics. Doodling some more. D just to get... D this is so cute! This is so freaking cute! Jesus Christ! <sighs> but... As always, everyone, thank you all for your fan art submissions, and also thank you, uh, Dijade, for redeeming your points for an arara. But, uh, I think I'm going to be turning off redeems for the rest of this particular video. Now that I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the hydrate that Nitro's just put up. But, nah, just jokes aside, we're, we're going to focus now on this and it's again this is your warning hop out if you need to hop out if you feel you can't handle the world being absolute garbage shit and that's a completely valid response with that said anybody who's left let's get into it so this california store owner shot dead over displaying a pride flag a California clothing store owner and designer was killed by a... Or killed allegedly by a gunman who confronted her about a rainbow pride flag outside her business and shot her after making disparaging remarks about the display. Do you want a pin for no redeems thing? Uh, no. No. I, I feel like I've mentioned it. And if anybody chooses not to respect that, that's on them at this point. I'll just be ignoring them. Hurt, like, completely ignoring any of those redeems. <laughs> Laura N. Carrollton, a married mother of nine children, was killed Friday outside her clothing store in Cedar Glen, an unincorporated San Bernard, uh, Bernardino County community on the shores of Lake Arrowhead, according to a statement from the St. Bernard, uh, Bernardino County Sheriff's Office. The suspected killer, who has not been publicly identified, fled the crime scene on foot, but was found by sheriff's deputies several miles from Carlton's store, where he was fatally shot in a confrontation. Authorities said that. Uh, the sheriff's office said the assailant was armed with a handgun and refused orders to drop his weapon. So, in most scenarios... I will do everything in my power to argue against the use of violence from the police. There are times, however, where somebody has demonstrated that they are unhinged and self-defense is required. I do not know if this is one of those cases, but based on the evidence we have so far, I think it's safe to assume that it is. When deputies attempted to contact the suspect, a lethal force encounter occurred and the suspect was pronounced deceased, according to a statement from the sheriff's office. No deputies were injured during the incident. This is a picture of the store. Jesus Christ, that looks like the antique shop my parents used to own. Carlton was gunned down outside of her store around 5 p.m. on Friday, according to the sheriff's office. 
Through further investigation, detectives learned the suspect made several disparaging remarks about a rainbow flag that stood outside of the store before shooting Carrollton, according to the sheriff's office statement. I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to pause real quick. It's just a, a quick aside to any politicians or pundits or anybody who happens to be watching my show. First of all, why are you watching my show? Come on, you can do better. Secondly, jokes aside... What kind of a world are we creating? D truly and honestly, just, just not, not as a joking, hyperbolic, funny, haha. No, no, just honestly, please ask yourself, what kind of a world are we creating? I'm specifically asking a couple of people who are known commenters in my YouTube channel. I can name a few of you. Arcade, Ricardo, Hulk Hogan fan. You guys realize that this is the world you're creating, right? You can you can argue, as you have in my comment section repeatedly, and yeah, I'm getting personal about this one, because I'm getting tired. You can argue, as you have multiple times in my comment section, that this is a result of the LGBTQ going too far. You can do that, as again, I've stated, you have done several times. Instead, I want you to consider... Blame the fucking person with the fucking gun, you fucking Nimrod. There. There's the personal beef off my chest. But truth be told, I do have to reiterate the question for people who actually matter in the world. If people want evidence that I read my comment section, here it is. If we want to actually make a safer world for all of us, that includes LGBTQ people. That includes people who are gay, people who are trans, people who are bi, pan, any flavor of queer, it doesn't matter. It includes those people. It includes men, women, and everybody who falls in between. So why on this green fucking planet do we have people who still wax lyrical about LGBTQ groomers and freak out about trans people? But why? I'm going to go ahead and put on my tinfoil hat for a second. Just for a, a brief bit. I feel like the world becoming more violent towards LGBTQ people for the Walshes, the, uh, the Shapiros, for all of those flavors of people. The world becoming more hostile for people who are LGBTQ? I feel like that's not a side effect, but more an intended effect. Now, the main goal, as it always is in these situations, is to generate income. It's to generate money. It's to generate fame and political prestige. If you're a DeSantis, it's political favor. If you're a Trump, it's political favor. If you're a Walsh or a Shapiro, it's money. Is your personal gain that you're getting from this, is it worth the deaths? Is it worth the hate crimes? Is it worth the world you are creating? Because to argue that any of those people are individual people with individual opinions is ludicrously naive. It ignores all of the pressures that are on these people to have the opinions that they do. And I don't say that to say, oh, well, God, if they just weren't so pressured, they wouldn't be horrible people. No, I'm saying both in and out of a vacuum to argue that the pundits who wax about the terribleness of the end of, of uh, LGBTQ people, this includes even fucking the quartering, Jeremy, uh, Paul and Morgan, all of you, li literally every single one of you, you are part of the problem. You create this world. Every single one of you is, in part, responsible for the emboldening of the types of people who do crimes like this. But because every single one of you is so thoroughly disconnected from this, because either you've got a, uh, like I do, you have a slew of privileges that you can hide behind, or if I were to use language that you're more accustomed to, you're just not even near this shit. The hate crimes don't happen to you. 
So you get to continue saying your shit to a crowd of cheering audiences as every single time you get up on your podium and say some stupid things about LGBTQ people. Somebody in your audience gets closer and closer to committing an act of stochastic terrorism every single time. And I don't know what the viewing history of this individual was, but I also know that we saw shit like this with the Christchurch shooting already. We've seen these types of people become emboldened because of the shit they are watching and then go on a killing spree or go and do something like this. We see it happen more often than not. And I think it's perfectly reasonable to put part of the blame at the feet of the people who are giving the rhetoric to this type of underbellied piece of shit in society. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Can you hold these people legally accountable? No, that's not how our legal system works. And in many ways, it's not how it should work. But I would then put it on the audiences of these people who listen to them day in, day out, cheer their voices to look at instances like this and go, huh, I wonder if maybe Michael Knowles saying that the trans people or the LGBTQ people needed to be genocided, maybe, just maybe, might have created a world where it was more likely that shit like this was going to happen. I understand that it's easy to look at this as an isolated incident. The problem is... I can't. Stuff like this gets closer and closer to me every single day. Because while I may be a cis het white guy, I've got a royal flush of privileges that let me just exist in the world without too much issue, especially in the Georgia South. My family, my friends, my loved ones, they don't get to escape this shit. And am I just going to sit back and do the whole, well, they didn't come for me, so... No. Doing that would be ludicrously stupid. And it's funny, because I know that people like Walsh and Knowles and all of them, they have done plenty of content talking about how actually LGBTQ acceptance was a huge part of the Nazi party regardless of their actual history of trying to kill homosexuals within their borders, of sending them and forcing them to have uh, their pink badges and all of that garbage, like ignoring the actual history of what happened in the Nazi party or cherry picking things that happened in the Nazi party. I just... I just want to understand why, and I don't want to get the reason for the money or because, well, there's a bigger picture here. No, there's not. There's there's you and a microphone, and it is really that simple because it is that simple for me. There is me, there is a microphone, and there's the shit that I want to talk about. That's it. That's That's where it begins. That's where it ends. People send in donations to the subathon and... I, I would hope that the majority of them know that those donations come in and do not influence the opinion that I have and cannot influence the opinion that I have, because if it did, then they wouldn't be my opinions anymore. So I'm left with two roads when it comes to other pundits. I can look at them through the lens of somebody who does the exact same shit, but to a smaller audience. Are, are you doing it because your audience is giving you a feedback loop and you're getting a lot of money for it? Or do you all honestly, truly believe these things? Neither of these are good positions. I do not believe getting on the internet and just lying to people to make them mad is a good idea. I don't think that leads to a better, more helpful, more stable world. I don't. That's not good. And if you truly believe these things, then why? If you truly believe these things, then maybe if you truly believe LGBTQ people are the spawn of Satan, then at the very least, maybe some of you can have your opinions changed. But if it's all about the money, you can't. None of you can. Because that base is still going to be there. We saw this with the Republican Party and the Southern Strategy. The Republican Party cannot become a more sane party in America. They can't. They, they fundamentally cannot. 
because they've created a bubble. They've created a voter base after the Southern strategy that relies on people like white supremacists, relies on people that will do hate crimes, relies on conservative people who simply don't know any better and had their family teach them dumb shit. That's who they rely on. And if, again, if you don't believe me, please go look at the Southern strategy. Read who they specifically who they specifically said were going to be their voter base. The Republican Party cannot make itself sane. They functionally can't because they picked a bed to lie in so that they could have some semblance of political power in America. Pundits also apparently cannot change their opinions for the same reasons. Because they've picked the bed of a handful of bigots, or a fuck ton of bigots, depending on if we're talking about individual donors or the people who subscribe to shit like Mug Club. In any of these scenarios, you've picked a bed of assholes to make your community, to make the people who give you power, who give you strength, who give you the ability to feed your family. Was it worth it? If you believe in a god, do you think your god is going to have any mercy on you for making such greedy fucking decisions? Do you truly believe that? Are you that naive? Many of them claim to be Christian. Do you really think your god's going to have mercy on you for making such self-centered shit? The forefront of your entire life? Really? But I digress. That's me angry. I should continue the article. I'm going to continue the article. But this shit pisses me off. This shit really hits a nerve. But let's go. The investigation is ongoing. The sheriff's office has released no further details. Authorities ask that if anybody with information about the shooting to con uh, can contact homicide investigators immediately. This is absolutely horrific. This is disgusting. Hayden has no place in California, said California Governor Gavin Newsom. On her store's website, Carlton said she began her career in the fashion industry when she was a teenager. She attended the Art Center College of Design in California before embarking on a career in fashion. Eventually, she joined the Kenneth Cole Productions, almost from its inception in 1982, and worked for the company for more than 15 years, becoming an executive. She posted a statement on social media confirming... Uh, Cole posted a statement on social media confirming that Carrollton had been a friend and a longtime associate of his company. Cole called Carlson slaying an unnecessary and tragic death. While Carlton and her husband have a home in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Studio City, the couple owns a 1920s fisherman's cabin in Lake Arrowhead. With a penchant for longevity, she's been married to the same man for 28 years and is the mother of a blended family of nine children, the youngest being identical twin girls. The Lake Arrowhead LGBTQ organization posted a message on its Facebook page honoring Carlton and describing her as a strong supporter of LGBTQ rights. They said, Today was a very sad day for Lake Arrowhead and the LGBTQ community. Our friend and supporter, Laurie Carrollton, was murdered defending her pride flags in front of her store in Cedar Glen, California, the group wrote in a statement. Laurie did not identify as LGBTQ, but spent her time helping and advocating for everybody in the community, and she will be truly missed. The supervisor, Don Rowe, also released a statement saying this is a senseless act of hate and violence, and it's unthinkable said, I stand with my mountain communities as we mourn this incredible loss. Everyone deserves to live free of hate and discrimination and practice their constitutional right of freedom of speech. Laurie was a remarkable member of the community, and I send my deepest condolences to her family in this time of grief. Paul Fague, director of such movies as Bridesmaids, The Heat, and the 2016 remake of Ghostbusters, said in a social media post that Carlton was a friend. She was a wonderful person who did so much for the LGBTQ community, as well as the community at large. Fake wrote on Twitter, What happened to her is absolutely a tragedy. If people don't think anti-gay and trans rhetoric isn't dangerous, then think again. Think. 
35,000 deaths. 35,000 deaths this year in gun violence. Weird. That's a, that's a lot of gun violence. That's a whole hell of a lot of gun violence. Actress Bridget Everett of the HBO Max drama Somebody Somewhere also mourned Carlton in a post on Instagram, saying that it was not the first encounter Carlton had faced over displaying her pride flag. In the past, when someone took her flag down or vandalized it, she would put up another one. Accompanied by a photo, uh, Everett said in a post, which was accompanied by a photo of Carlton. The last time I saw Laurie was, oddly enough, at Lake Arrowhead Pride, both in the parade and then at a party. All that anti-LGBTQ rhetoric has a price. And now, Laurie's husband, Bort, and her daughters are devastated. And for what? The shooting came amid a rise of anti-LGBTQ extremism across the nation that has led to protests threats of, and threats of violence against the community. A report this year by Anti-Defamation League and the LGBTQ plus organization GLAAD shows there were more than 350 incidents of vandalism, harassment, and assault from June 2022 and April of 2023, which said coincides with an increase in rhetoric and legislation targeting the LGBTQ community. Pernia says people are posting uh, posts from the murder of social media. Oh, where are they? Where are they posting that? Where do we have that information? Because because now I'm curious. They were a a nameless person at first, but I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. I think trying to pretend that not saying a person's name uh, is going to make it to where there are less serial killers in the world. I don't think that. That really holds true, especially because not everybody can do so. So I'm just curious here. I am just curious here. Said, can somebody send Putin directly to a gulag? You'd wish. Said it was the guy with a Japanese name, wasn't it? I don't know. This is the first of this information that I'm finding. Thank you, Pernia. <clears throat> Travis Ikaguchi. This is a pinned tweet from the person who killed Laurie Ann Carlton. Do y'all really think all that rhetoric is worth it? Do y'all really think it's worth it? I am curious right now. I am curious right now. Let's take a look at his profile real quick. There's only one way to the path of salvation and to eternal life, and that is through Jesus Christ. And yes, the path is narrow. Didn't I fucking tell you? Didn't I tell you that most of these people believe in their deities wholeheartedly? They believe that what they're doing is going to give them some kind of reward in the fucking afterlife. Extremism. Christian flavored. Let's see here. Christians shouldn't be like a pebble in a landslide. They should be like a rock that others can shelter behind when the world comes crashing towards destruction. That's a re uh, retweet from him. Another retweet. I believe that as Christians continue to act politically out of fear instead of faith, and one of the perceived political ex uh, of ex perceived political expedients instead of principle, God will continue to give them over to the very things they fear most. Wow. Huh. Well, he definitely seemed to take some of his shit into his own hands, didn't he? Abortion and same-sex marriage are both immoral and designed to destroy humanity one by one. So if someone's pro-abortion and pro-LGBTQ, and of course they put a P here because these idiots think they can just add pedophile to the LGBTQ, they are at war against the foundation of family values. And this entitled motherfucker put his name there like it's a quote. Like it's some profound quote. This fucker was planning this shit. He thought he was gonna be... He thought he was gonna be some quotable, important figure. 
to his right-wing constituent assholes. <sighs> Jeez, can you imagine? Can you imagine being this type of person? Can you imagine? Well, he can't imagine it. He got copped. Dude posts from One American News Network, of course. Posts, your enemy is not Russian. You know, ignoring the... Here we go. Ignoring the actual people who are currently trying to take over a country they don't deserve to have. Astroth says, is it okay to speak my thoughts on this case? By all means. Speak your thoughts on this case. Go ahead. God, and look at that. Look at that. It's not quite anti-Semitic. It's not quite there. But it's close. It's like a couple steps to the left of it. God, they're, they're just the right people. The Jews, they're the wrong kinds of people. Gee, I wonder what they think they should do to the Jews. Weird. Yeah, of course he killed a mother. These are these people are stupid. So why are they all pro-Russia? Pro Russia was the big bad for decades. Russia's anti-LGBTQ. So they're pro-Russia. It's as simple as that. It is... It is I hate to boil it down that way, but it is honestly simple as that. Asheroth says, I was wondering if this guy committed murder for right-wing extremism clout, which would be fucking horrid as fuck. He literally put his name under a Twitter post as a quote. This dude wanted all the clout. That is exactly what this shit is for him. <sighs> so yeah, I fucking thought as such. Yep. <sighs> I can't. I can't do any more in this. I need to. I need to decompress and play some video games with Saki. And that's that's about as much as there is for that. I need a bunch of stresses to disappear and sanity to come back to my head. And he got the cloud he deserved. Right in between the eyes. As always, everybody, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like button, all that other fun stuff. Insert end of video tagline here. <laughs>